Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be kind of rounding up all of the new luxury lipsticks that I've purchased over the past couple of months. A lot of companies have come out with brand new formulas. I even have a brand new company here that I wanna talk about. So I thought I would just do one video, kind of cover all of these lipsticks that I've been hauling over the past couple of months, give you my thoughts on them, uh, what I think they're good for, what I don't think they're good for, uh, and just kind of go from there. So if you're interested in hearing about all the luxury lipsticks I've been hauling and playing around around with over the past couple of months, then just keep on watching. So I thought I would go ahead and start with a brand new company. I believe it's brand new. It's called La Rouge Bouche, and they are sold exclusively at Barney's. When I went to the Barney's here in Vegas at the Venetian, I immediately was like drawn to their display. It's very clean, it's very white, and all they had are lipsticks. So this company only sells lipsticks, they don't sell anything else. And what I noticed first was that they had this really gorgeous leather case. And I was just so curious about what was going on here. So I spoke to the salesperson there. They told me that the cases are made out of Hermes leather. And this is what they look like. Here is like the seaming on it. And that these cases are refillable. So you can go ahead and buy a refill for the case. So at that point, I think I had just done some damage at like Sephora or Guerlain over at the Venetian. And I was like, okay, well, let me keep this like in the back of my mind. And you know, when I'm ready to purchase some new lipsticks, always, uh, I'll come back and kind of take a look. So when I was in New York last week, or a couple weeks ago now at this point, I went to the Barney's down on 17th Street and purchased this case along with two colors. And then later on that week, I went to the Barney's on Madison Avenue and purchased two more refills. So I have one case for refills, and I just wanted to talk about um, the different formulas. But what I'm gonna do is link to this company's website down below in my description box. Again, they're called uh, La Bouche Rouge, and they're a company that sort of set out to create um, lipsticks that are made from all natural, I believe organic ingredients, and they're really concerned with sustainability, which is why they created uh, like a refillable lipstick. And the cases that the refills come in are in uh, paper, which I'll show you in a second. But if you're interested in all of that and what the company stands for and everything that they are striving to do, go ahead and check out their website. Uh, but I just wanna show you the, well, I showed you the case and what they do at the Barney's on Madison Avenue in New York and the Barney's in LA is that they will actually engrave the case for you. So I actually, got this case engraved with my initials. Isn't that awesome? And then inside I have one of my refills in here. So these refills like pop in and out super easily. Everything is magnetized. So at the moment they only have one color uh, leather case, which is black. What the sales associate there told me was for the holidays, I don't know if these are gonna be a limited edition, but they're coming out with four different color leather cases. Uh, one is red, one is off-white, one is like a caramel color and one is a light blue. So I definitely think I'm gonna be picking up at least one more case. Can't decide between the red and like the caramel, even the off-white looks really cool. Uh, I'm just afraid it may get a little bit dirty. Let me talk about the lipsticks a little bit. So they have basically, well, they have two formulas. They have a satin and the matte, and then they have one shade, which is like a balm, and it's called Pesh, so it has like a peach tint to it, and that's actually what I have in my case right now. This is such a nourishing, comfortable formula, and it actually healed my lips. So when I was in New York, it went from like really muggy in the 70s one day, and by the time I left, it was high in the 40s and super windy. So my lips were like completely chapped. They were like, kind of red and they just hurt. Like anytime I had any salty food, it stung, like it was that chapped. So when I tried this on at the store, I was like, oh, this, this feels nice, okay. Didn't think much of it, purchased some colors, left, and I was like, oh my God, my lips actually feel like they're healed. So that's why I went back and purchased this along with another color. But this is um, just slightly tinted, you can see and it just has like a really beautiful, beautiful sheen to it. There's like a little bit of glimmer to it. It's just really, really pretty. And I was there at Barney's with two friends and we all got one. We just were, we just all fell in love with the formula and the way this made our lips look, just super natural, like no makeup, makeup kind of like lip color. It just made all of our lips just look 
so much nicer and they all have different coloring than I do and yeah and it was just wonderful so that was one uh, refill that I got and I got two satin shades and one matte shade I usually shy away from matte lipsticks but I just I really wanted to give it a shot especially because the satin lipsticks are um, they're not sheer but they're so creamy that they're definitely not long-lasting they're definitely more about like having a comfort factor on your lips and I thought well let me give a color that's gonna have a little bit longevity and staying power like let me give one of those a shot so uh, what do I have here so this is what the refillable case looks like so you don't have to get one of these leather cases um, but these are paper and I was actually carrying the balm around in this paper refill in my bag for a while and while the the casing I threw it out already actually while the casing got pretty dirty because I have a lot of shit in my bag. Um, this was actually really sturdy. This is like a mailing tube, basically. But the refill just sort of sits inside of it. So it's a little bit weird. Like when you pull it out <laughs> to use like in public, it feels a little bit strange because you're kind of pulling the whole thing out and then you're kind of opening it up and using it from there. And it looks very, very like the insides of a lipstick. These are all made in France, by the way, and they come in these great uh, little boxes they have. Uh, some writing here, there's La Bouche Rouge, and then they sit inside this box. So this color is called Nude Brown, and this is one of the satin shades. So let me just swatch this here for you. So there is Nude Brown, shade number 10. You can see that it's fairly pigmented, but that it's not totally opaque. Let me do some lip swatches here. I did not put any foundation on in preparation for this because if I put foundation on and start taking off lipstick, I get that weird ring. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, hope you don't mind. I have no foundation on. I have pretty much everything else though. So here is Nude Brown. And so you can see it just has this like really natural tint to it. It is so, it's so comfortable. It really kind of adds this like really nice protective layer to your lips, but it doesn't feel thick at all and it's really nourishing. It's really, really nourishing. I was so surprised at how quickly my my poor chapped lips healed in New York when I used that balm. And these satin lipsticks have a very similar feel. The balm feels a little bit thinner. This feels a little bit thicker, a little bit more protective, mm. but so, so beautiful. And then this color is number six, and this one is Nude Red. And this is another um, satin finish. So there is nude red and this red has a lot of like brown in it it's just a really warm rich rich red so let me go ahead and take this off and swatch this for you so there is nude red oh so comfortable and I've got one more to show you which is a matte color so here is the matte color that I picked up. This is called Chloe. And because their formula is so creamy and emollient and nourishing, even the matte, wow. while it doesn't have a shiny finish, because it's so creamy, it's not gonna have a really flat, flat appearance to it, which is really what appealed to me because I really just didn't want my lips to look dried out and they were chapped on top of it, but I fell in love with this formula. So let me go ahead and take this off and swatch the Chloe for you all right and there is Chloe on the lips again such a comfortable comfortable formula and even though they call this a matte they consider it a matte and while it doesn't necessarily have a shiny appearance I wouldn't call this like a true flat matte kind of finish definitely there's like a creaminess there that you can see in the lipstick and if you want one with like a little bit more pigmentation all of the mattes are definitely more pigmented than the satin and definitely much more than the balm the satin ones are um, they're pigmented but as you could tell from the two that I picked there's a little bit of sheerness there because of like the form Formula, but all the matte lipsticks have a lot more pigment in them. So those are the La Bouche Rouge items that I picked up and I just think that this is, you know, if you want to treat yourself, if you want to spoil yourself, if you want to ask for like a luxury gift for the holidays, I think this is a really, really good pick. I mean, this is, it's so cool. And once you read the website about this company and what their mission statement is, you're just going to fall in love. So anyway, that's La Bouche Rouge.
All right, next up, I wanted to talk about the Tom Ford satin mats. So these are the latest release from Tom Ford. They come in the longer, slimmer packaging. And the idea of these is that they're supposed to go on like a satin lipstick, but they're supposed to have a matte finish. Let me take off this Chloe lipstick and swatch these for you. So I have two very nude colors here. I have La Nudite and Blow Up. Let me go ahead and put on La Nudite for you and then I'll talk about my feelings. So here's La Nudite on the lips. And as someone who doesn't generally like matte lipsticks, mainly because of the way they feel and the way they apply, I don't uh, not like the way matte lipsticks look. I just don't like the way they feel. So this was like kind of like the perfect idea for me that it was gonna go on like a satin, feel like a satin, but have like a matte appearance. I was really, really, really jazzed. And when I first use these, they do, they go on really smoothly. They're really, really comfortable. But as the day goes on, it really starts to dry down and then they do eventually kind of start to feel like a matte lipstick. By lunchtime, I feel like like I have to take it off my lips. Like I feel like it's dried down and I just have this like lipstick on my mouth and I can feel it. And I really don't like feeling, like feeling, feeling my makeup. It's just not a good feeling to me. So while I like, you know, the initial application of this lipstick, I think it does go on really nicely. I love the color range, but I do feel like this does dry down a little too much. I wish it just stayed a teensy bit emollient longer. So that's La Nudite. Let me go ahead and swatch blow up for you. And here is Blub. It's a little bit pinker than La Nudite. La Nudite has like a peach neutral lean to it. This is like a little bit cooler. So there is Blow Up. It's a little bit too cool for me. This is a color I definitely need to use like a lip liner with because I feel like this looks a little too like milky and pasty on my lips. Um, so that is Blow Up. So the next lipstick I want to talk about is from YSL. It's the Tatouage Couture, and it's more of like a liquid lipstick. This is not new at all, but they did come out with a bunch of shades that have a metallic finish. So I have the shade 105. I thought I had a second shade, which I can't find right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I purchased the second one. But anyway, we'll just go with this one. Again, this is 105, and this has like a fun kind of like berry tint to it. And then there's like this golden metallic shift oh there it is there's that gold in there so as you guys know i'm a big fan of the metallic lip and i'm really a fan of this formula it is so interesting it goes on really thin and weightless but it has such high pigmentation and coverage and it's it's pretty long lasting it's just such an interesting interesting formula and the applicator on here it's like this little paddle I was skeptical of it at first, but it does actually make putting on this thin formula really easy. So let me put this on for you guys. So not only is this lip color, um, does it have like a metallic shift to it, but there are micro glitters in there, which you can't feel. It doesn't feel gritty at all. It feels very, very smooth on the lips. But I wanna say if you're looking for like a berry toned, like holiday lip, this is perfect. This is so festive. It goes on really easily. Like if, if darker lip colors are not your thing and maybe you just wanna try it out but you don't wanna to commit to like a really opaque like lipstick and putting on from like a lipstick bullet kinda of takes a little bit of practice, this is actually really easy. I mean, I find it a lot easier because you have that paddle, it's liquid, you just kinda of spread it around, you know, press your lips together and you're pretty much good to go. I find applying dark lipsticks from a bullet much more difficult. So I find these like new metallic shades from YSL like awesome for the holidays. I think they're like perfect. And I love this formula. Again, it's really thin, completely weightless on the lips. It's just a teensy bit, a teensy bit tacky, which I think is different from the regular Tatouage Couture. Those I don't feel like have any tackiness at all. These metallics have just a teensy bit. So I'm looking in the viewfinder and it looks like it's patchy in the viewfinder. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but it's not at all. I think it's like the metallic reflectiveness is making it look like a little patchy, but it is not. Like in real life, I find the color to be really kind of like solid and even. That's kind of weird. Uh, so anyway, if you do see that it looks a little patchy, I think it's just the lighting and the reflectiveness of this color kind of like making it look a little patchy. Okay, next I have picked up some of the Sicily Phyto Rouge lipsticks. These are brand new to the Sicily line. They come in these red velvet pouches. 
the cases are really cool too. It's a gold and black zebra print. It's magnetic and there's a red Sisley S at the top. And then the bullet is like all faceted. They're just really beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. But let's talk about the lipsticks. So I am in love with this formula. This is one of those creamy matte formulas, almost like the Tom Ford. So it goes on like a cream, but it has like a, a more of a matte appearance because they're not the shiny, there's nothing, you know, juicy about them. But these don't do a weird dry down where I feel like my lips get drier and drier as the day goes on. These are incredibly, incredibly comfortable on the lips and they're very, very pigmented. So this is color number 11. And then I also had purchased color number 33. And this is the one I probably have been wearing the most. Number 33, and then here is color number 41. This is just a beautiful, warm leaning red. So there is 41. And I forgot to lip swatch them. So let me start from number 11. So this is the beigey nude color. My lips are a little bit stained from that YSL uh, liquid lip, but I think you'll get a pretty decent sense of the colors. So this is number 11. Oh, such a comfortable formula. I highly recommend these over the Tom Ford satin mattes. I just think that they deliver. It's just a much better formula. It never dries down to anything uncomfortable. It's just as long lasting as the Tom Ford. There's like no fragrance. I, I just, I love these. And here is number 33. So there's number 33. And then last but not least, here is 41. So there is 41. All right, so those were the Sicily Phyto Rouge. Absolutely love, love this formula. Just wonderful. All right, next up, I wanted to talk about the Chantecaille Lip Veils. So this is a new formula to the line, and there are like a lot of nourishing oils in here. It's a very creamy, creamy emollient nourishing formula. And I have it in the color Baobab, which I believe is the oil, Baobab oil, that's in here. So this is, it's like similar to the um, La Bouche Rouge that I talked about first. It really will like heal your lips. It is so, so nourishing. It has, do you see that kind of like glossy finish to it? It's a really, really beautiful one. I definitely want to get more colors, um, but let me go ahead and swatch this for you. Let me take this off. The texture of this is a little bit thinner than the La Bouche Rouge, but it feels just as great. Um, it feels very, very comfortable, very, very nourishing. This is another lip product that I find I can use this as a substitute for actual lip balm. It's that nourishing. Like when I take this off, it doesn't feel like I've had a lip color on all day. It really feels like I've had a lip balm on all day. So, so comfortable. And I really like this color. I feel like it's a very kind of like my lips but better kind of lip color. So I'm really in love with this formula. And this case is also magnetized. Very cool. Uh, so that's the Chantecaille Lip Veil. And then I wanted to talk about, oh, the Armani Rouge d'Armani. So this is a brand new formula. Uh, these are a matte lipstick, and they had a really, really interesting shade that I had to pick up. This is number 200. And I'm gonna show you one side of this. So when you, when you look at this color, it just kind of looks like a chocolatey brown. But when you actually start using it, this gold kind of comes out. And it's, it's just such an interesting shade. So let me take this off and then I will lip swatch this for you and then I will show you the slight issue I have with it. It's not a total deal breaker because I've been wearing it, but I feel like it could be a deal breaker for some of you out there. So here's the Rouge d'Armani. Wasn't I just talking about how difficult of a time I had um, applying bullet lipsticks? <laughs> okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So here is the color. I think the color is phenomenal. I think it's very, very unique. I really haven't seen anything like this. I've seen very deep dark browns, obviously, but I haven't seen it with this kind of like metallic shift to it. It's really, really cool. The formula is very long lasting. I was wearing this the other day and it definitely started to fade in the middle, but 
it pretty much was on most of my lips for like through a couple of meals and I was very, very impressed. It definitely has a matte finish. My one issue with this formula is that it's very, very thick, like very heavy on the lips. I can feel it on my lips and I feel like it's one of those formulas that kind of accentuates like the wrinkles in my lips. I think because of the thickness of the formula. So that's the one downside is that, you know, is the thickness of this particular formula. But if that doesn't bother you, if you prefer like a, a lipstick that will just kind of stay on all day, I would definitely recommend this. And I think this color is so cool. So, so cool. So if you're into kind of like deep, more dramatic looks, especially now that it's like fall, winter time, but you want something a little bit different, maybe you want to try a little bit of a metallic, but it's not too crazy. As you can tell, it's like you can barely see any sheen. It just has this weird like shift to it in person. I'm, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but this color is awesome. The longevity is great. It's fairly comfortable on the lips. I feel like because I can feel it, it's very preoccupying for me. Again, I'd like really, really kind of invisible feeling makeup, um, but it's very long lasting. I think that's the trade-off. So that's the Rouge d'Armani. All right, next I have the Clé de Peau Cashmere lipsticks. I have it in the color Sweet Song, and these are those beautiful lipsticks that come with the petal tip. There's actually two or three different formulas with this shape bullet, but this cashmere formula is relatively new. I think they released it for fall. It is supposed to have a matte finish. So again, I thought, well, you know, if it's supposed to have a comfortable formula, which it is, but have a matte finish, I definitely want to give it a shot. So let me uh, swatch this for you. So I purchased this the same time that I purchased the Sisley because I kind of wanted to compare the two. They're both claiming to do very similar things like feel really creamy but have like a matte finish. And I have to say the Sisley definitely has one out. There's something um, like there's something very creamy and nourishing feeling about the Sisley, but the Clay de Peau just feels a little bit more slick, almost like it's like this feels like a cream and this feels like dimethicone e. I don't know if that's the case. I actually have no idea what the formulas are, but that's what it feels like. Like it just feels kind of like slippy versus nourishing and creamy. Definitely has a matte finish, as you can see. The color range is really beautiful. I love the shape of the bullet. It's very, very pretty. But yeah, there's just something about this formula that I don't like as much as this one. And while this one just sort of sits on top, it doesn't do much. It's not doing anything for my lips. It's not nourishing them in any way. So this one isn't bad at all. It just isn't for me. I just feel like it's kind of just sitting on top of my lips. Oh, and I just realized I didn't do an arm swatch of the Clé de Peau or the Armani, but here is the Clé de Peau. So that's the color Sweet Song. And there you can see the matte finish. And then here's a swatch of the Armani. And there you can probably see that interesting metallic shift. I feel like this is the bullet version of this lipstick. This one, this one is a little bit more berry and this one is a little bit more brown in tone. Okay, and last but not least, I purchased two of the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips. So these are supposed to give you a glossy starlit lip look and I got two colors. I got Pillow Talk and Walk of Shame. I think Pillow Talk is already sold out. I'm not sure. Uh, Walk of Shame is still there, at least the last time I looked. So they come in um, these like kind of skinny tubes. I have to admit, it's a little bit smaller than I thought. I thought they were going to be a little bit longer. Let me swatch Pillow Talk. So these definitely have a glossy kind of finish to them. They're not super like overly pigmented. They're a great throw in your purse, like easy to like throw on kind of lip product. But it's so, it's so weird because even though this is uh, creamy and it glides on nicely, I feel like it drags my lips. There's something very heavy about this formula and this smells like vanilla just so you know. It's just, it's such a weird formula because I just assumed it was gonna feel a little bit more like a balm. And it does in a way, but it feels like thick, like a thick balm. It's strange, it's just not what I was expecting. And I like it, I like it a lot. I especially like this color. I feel like this is almost the exact color of my lips, which is so strange. I feel like I'm always searching for that and I finally found it, but this is Pillow Talk. But let me go ahead and swatch the Walk of Shame for you. So here is Walk of Shame. There it is, so it's just a little bit deeper than Pillow Talk. So there is Walk of Shame. So I like these, I like these a lot. I like the tone, I like that kind of glossiness. It's almost like a muted glossiness. 
um, to these lip products. They're not like too juicy looking. It's almost like just a satin finish, which I think is really nice, very natural, a great addition to kind of like any makeup look. And it's, it's nourishing feeling. I remember wearing the Walk of Shame all day. And by the end of the day, I don't feel like my lips were healed from anything, but they definitely weren't bothered. You know, it didn't feel like I was wearing a lip product all day. But this formula is thick and I do feel like I can feel it sitting on top of my lips. Thankfully, it's very creamy feeling, so it doesn't bug me that much, but you can definitely feel it. So that was the one thing that was very surprising about this because I really thought it was gonna be light. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to point out like the big winners of all the ones I talked about. So the Sisley Phyto Rouge, I love this formula. I love the color range. I love that it goes on and feels like a really creamy, creamy, nourishing lipstick, but the finish of it is more on the matte side. The Chantecai lip veils are so comfortable on the lips. It really feels like, you know, when you take off your makeup at the end of the day, like you were wearing a lip balm all day. These are phenomenal, love these. And then the La Bouche Rouge. This is like the Chantecai where I just feel like you know, you're just wearing a balm all day. The color range is beautiful. Of course, I love my engraved leather case, but the product is really wonderful. And the company, actually much like Chantecai, the company is really interesting and really wonderful. Definitely worth checking out their website if you want more information on them. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below in the comment section if there is a lipstick that you have just fallen in love with that I didn't mention that I need to try. Let me know down below in the comment section. Subscribe before you leave if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.